Hi, my name is Jenny Pryor, also known as Living Bread Baker. I also know what it's like to, to have real life going on around you and trying to fit sourdough into your real life. And today I wanna to share one tip from a larger video about sourdough starter discards. I hope this is helpful, and if you wanna see more tips, just see the description below. For new sourdough bakers, I just wanna give you, take, I ask you to take a deep breath, and it's okay if you toss it, it's okay if you literally discard it for now, that's okay. Um, but if you're interested in this and like exploring other, other ways to make sourdough recipes um, or another use for it is you could also save it as emergency backup. Some things, sometimes things happen, sometimes you might use up all your starter or the container gets rinsed out, um, especially your family or the people you live with are not used to you making the sourdough. Um, I've had that happen to multiple students. Um, or maybe you drop your container and it breaks on the ground. Well, sometimes it's nice to have some of that saved sourdough starter that's old in the fridge because then you can just take a tablespoon of that put in a new container feed it and you once again are able to keep moving and and continue the cycle of your sourdough starter so that's one way one reason to keep it but the second reason is that you can make a whole myriad of sourdough starter disc or sa sourdough starter discard recipes um, sometimes it's just called sourdough discard recipes and um, from muffins to scones, to pancakes, to waffles, to crackers, there are so many ways that you can use it. And so on my site, I have several recipes for you to check out, um, whether, whether you wanna make crackers, whether you, my, one of my most popular ones on there for kids is sourdough discard graham crackers, which are delicious. Um, and right now I'm getting ready to make some Irish soda bread using discard for my family. Um, but it's really helpful because I can make these recipes and I can make them in a way that is more digestible with the sourdough starter discard um, so that for our family, especially for those of us who are gluten sensitive, that we're able to let it ferment, let it sit for um, several hours after I've mixed that sourdough discard and, and have something that's more digestible later. And the flavor is really incredible. And another benefit of why you can keep it is that it can replace a buttermilk or a milk and so if you are sensitive to dairy um, and don't like to use milk in your recipes, it is a great alternative to use sourdough starter discard instead of milk. And, but you would need it to be at this really discard runny stage to kind of um, match that, that same sour flavor and texture of buttermilk. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, that quick tip. Um, I also have a, a sourdough quick start guide on my website that you can get for free. So feel free to check out the link below and I hope that that can help you, help you and um, just leave me a comment, send me a note, just tell me how this video helped you today.